It means a lot to me. The love and the support, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not something I'm used to. I want to talk a little bit real quick about what my family did to me. You know, I was just a child. I was told that my identity needed to be hidden to protect the family. Yeah. I spent my whole life living this lie that I'm the hero because I'm protecting the family and throwing myself away. All the music I wrote for my brothers, all the songs I made up with my father, I never collected one dollar from them. It's true there was a few times they tried to give me money, but when you love someone, you don't expect them to sacrifice themselves and their life and their career and their calling so that you can live it up. They didn't do anything that my father wanted them to do. And I'm really disappointed. That all this time of my life, all the things that could have been done, all the good work, all the chains of poverty that could have been broken, including my own. But uh, the truth is, it's the Aldriches and Rita Marley that did this to me. She played games with, with other people's lives, with my life. She put her own children up on the spotlight on the throne and uh, she didn't really care for Bob's biological children. I'm just feeling really, really sad and really hurt and really disappointed in myself that, that I would go along with such a thing. I mean, look, I was a child. We were all children when we had these identity games put upon us. And we don't have to live chained to the mistakes that our parents made. We don't have to live in the past. And, and I'm really hurting right now because as an adult, looking back on what they did to me, it's just so wrong. And it's not just that, oh, I'm his biological daughter, I have a right to inheritance. I wrote all of Steven's music. So much of Damien's music. So much songs I made up with my father. Meanwhile, I can't even afford to go buy bread. We're so poor and I have money for a bus ticket. And I'm walking around with my head up high like, well, I'm saving and protecting my family. And then when I asked them for, I had asked them for, for charity because my son got attacked by the police. He's never recovered. He has broken teeth. He needs oral surgery and I can't even afford antibiotics. My daughter's been homeless. I've been homeless. Meanwhile, they're riding around top shelf lifestyle off of my creativity and I have to just take it. I'm really, I'm feeling really hurt right now. And I'm looking for people that, that know who I am, that want to support me in the truth. False foundations are going to crumble in. I don't have to do anything to tear them down. They tore themselves down. They threw themselves away with this fake narrative and all these lies. And still, I love them. I, I'm not looking to hurt nobody, but I'm definitely going to stand up for my rights and, and, and claim the work that I've done. I hope they do the right thing with me, but so far it doesn't look like it. And that's really heartbreaking for me. I'm really sad about it. So, if you want to share this with your contacts, anybody they can get in touch with people like Baby Sham, who dating in Beckett, uh, Lauren Hill, people that know who I am. Um, and I am going to call upon them to speak the truth. The Wu Tang Clan, they know exactly who I am. Um, anybody that remembers the Aldriches and how bad they were. Anyone in the Tosh family, if they remember me, I was just a child, it was so long ago. But Peter wasn't having none of that bullshit that the Aldriches was pushing. And I told my father, and I was just a child, but I told them, they're trying to sell you something you already own. And that's your soul. And he saw it in the end. 
My father said a lot of things to me. He never spoke to me like I was a child. He spoke to me like I was an old soul. And speaking of old soul, I wrote that album for Steven back in the 90s. And there's a lot of things I'm not saying because I want to give my family a chance to do the right thing. But I really need, I need love and support. I need people that know who I am to stand up with me. 